Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am still playing with my monthly Hero June 2018 stamp set. It's all about the beach. And, but this time around I am incorporating the stencil by a Simon Says stamp, the leafy frame. And I've been playing with that frame and I thought that it would be such a neat addition to the my monthly hero. I'm just imagining hanging out in a hammock with the piña colada on my in my hand and looking looking out um, through the branches and seeing the dolphin and the birds and the ocean and so on and so forth. So let's get started. I already attached the uh, four and a quarter by five and a half white cardstock to the stencil. And then I attach the stencil the whole thing to the stamping platform and I'm ready to stamp. If you have not seen the set, this is this is the set that I'm going to be using and these three stamps are the, uh, the three layers of water so we're going to stamp, uh, we're going to start with the with the first layer and the color that I'm using is Big Sky by Stamping Up and I'm just going to uh, ink the, the stamp and uh, use the platform to stamp. Oh my goodness, my, my platform has moved. So let me adjust it here. There you go. That's much better. Let me let me ink it again. Let's ink it again. And here we go. Now I I also use the magnets to hold my stencil down and uh, just to help it stay stay in one spot. Now as you can see because we have the stencil the ink is not getting into all the nook and crannies it kind of is avoiding the sides where the leaves are but that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, once we start stamping other layers they will all fill in and it's gonna look just fine. All right. So I did three layers of um, of this um, big of this stamp. Now I'm ready for the next one. This is the next layer that's going to go up. I'm gonna put it in place, and I'm ready for my next color. And this time around, it's going to be pool party by stamping up again. These are the inks that I have, so I decided that I'm going to be using what I've got. And as you can see, you really, they really don't come out completely clear, but it's amazing how you will not even notice that once, um, once uh, the, the card will be finished. Of course, I'm going to help a little bit, and I'm going to use a little brush right now. And I'm gonna go in the spots that don't have any ink. Usually, I would not be using a brush for that, <laughs> but if I forgot to to get um, get a sponge, so I just want to add a little bit of that pool party to the edges. I don't want to get underneath the leaves, and you'll see in a minute why. So let's just just a little bit. I don't want too much of it. If you have a sponge, sponge probably would work much better. I forgot to grab it. So let me just give it one more inking of that and we're going to be ready for the next for the next layer. All right. We are done with this. So, off we go to get the next layer. And that one we are going to stamp in Bermuda Bay also by stamping up. That's going to be the darkest color of the three. Okay, let me grab that. There you go, Bermuda Bay in action. It's so nice to have the platform because you can go back and stamp a few times over the same thing. So you can see that this one really adds a lot of definition to this um, to the ocean. Now I like to have the dark 
the dark waves a little bit down so I'm just gonna place the stamp a little bit lower there you go and but now instead of inking it all the way I'm just going to ink the waves the wave part I'm not gonna ink that line let's see how that comes out okay perfect that's awesome now I'm, I'm done with the water I'm perfectly happy with it I am ready to sponge some um, sky and if you haven't noticed because I didn't mention that I masked the Sun here so there is a circle right here hiding underneath this uh, uh, the stencil uh, so that when I'll be sponging the Sun is gonna stay white now with this stencil you kind of when you sponge you kind of have to go from the outside in and I'm trying to hold it as much as possible as well so it doesn't move and there is our Sun it's gonna be all beautiful and not blue there you go that's we're almost done we don't need it it doesn't need to be too dark because we're gonna have other images on top of it you can see I I actually smeared a little bit of the Bermuda Bermuda Bay there okay but that's that's okay I don't think anybody will really notice all right so let's remove the masking it's almost like a double masking <laughs> I remove one masking there's another masking underneath and for this, for the sun, we're going to use fossilized amber distress oxide. And again, we're just going to kind of stamp on top of it. I don't want to put too much movement on the leaves, except for maybe just a little bit on the outside, because you don't want it to look like a moon either. You want to see that shiny is sun so let's make sure that we get it everywhere where it's supposed to be there you go all done with that now we can move on to our sand and for the sand I'm going to use this stress uh, uh, this not the stress of the stress um, ink tea dye it's actually just a little bit dark um, for sand but I'm using it anyways I don't want it to be too dark because I'm gonna stamp um, greeting on it but it kind of it's I probably would go next time around I probably would go with something just slightly bit lighter now I'm not using any masking for the water I really don't care if a little bit of the sandy color is gonna go in the water it's gonna make it it's going to make it look even more natural because, you know, a lot of times we do see the water, the, the sand in the water, especially the beautiful Bahama uh, turquoise water. We see the sand for quite a ways. So we are almost done with all the sponging here and we are ready for stamping. Some more stamping, which is so fun. Okay, so let's, you know. <sighs> No, I have to add a little bit more dark. Yeah, yeah, I think this I was going just a little bit too light with it. Sorry, guys. You have to bear with me. Okay, now I think I'm a little bit happier with it. All right, so that's that. Now, let's grab some stamps. And da -da -da -da, I'm going to use... <laughs> uh, enjoy the beach life. I think I'm gonna I'm going to put it right here I'm going to use uh, I'm going to we're gonna have a dolphin jumping here and also we are going to have some birds flying here so let's do the birds all right and all these are gonna be stamped in black which means that I can actually stamp them all at the same time. Isn't that cool? I think that that's just such a neat thing about the stamping platforms that you can actually do that. 
Okay, all three of them got attached. Now I'm going to use black ink to ink them up. So you can just imagine, since you cannot see my black ink and inking, I am doing that. And let's stamp it. Oh, awesome. This is so awesome. I love it. And just because we have the stamping platform, guess what? We can re-ink it. And we will be able to stamp it in, in the same spot just to add a little bit more definition. Ha ha! How neat is that? Isn't it awesome? I love it, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now we are at the point where we, with actually the most important part of the whole thing in order to get the effect that we are getting, um, we are going to apply Versamark. We're going to use Versamark to apply to the entire surface, or of course, with the exception of whatever is going to be underneath the leaves. We're going to apply Versamark and then we're going to add some clear powder, clear embossing powder, and um, use a heat gun to, uh, to emboss it. So let's do that really quick. This is the only way really that I have found that I can do that. I can do the effect of those green leaves, looking through the green leaves using that stencil. So, I'm, I'm just going crazy and I'm applying the Versamark. I'm going to put it all over nook and crannies especially around the leaves because that's where we're going to be sponging some green all right i think we're pretty good here we are good I need to make sure that this the versa mark is nice and juicy so to say all right so now for the first time we can actually remove the whole thing from our stamping platform and let's see what we got here and you may actually like it as is, as it is you may not even want to go that one step further there you go perfect so let's grab some embossing powder clear embossing powder and emboss it you see how how nice and wet it is so now the embossing powder is going to stick to it wonderfully. I already have a spoon in there, but it's not the spoon that I want to use. Alright, so let's just go for it. Put a ton of it on. Wherever the embossing powder lands and it's going to be melted, that's going to be our background. When we're going to be sponging, the sponging color is not going to stick to it. So, okay, I think I'm good. I think I missed a oh, few spots here. Okay, I think we're good. So let's emboss it really quick. And I want to apologize because I really don't like the buzzing in your ear. But we have to do it. So I'm going to heat it up really quick. Heat it up. And now we can start the box. done with that now it's nice and warm we want to cool it off but right off the bat there are several things that I'm noticing that 
I should have really paid more attention to and that's the fact that the, when I started sponging the, the blue sky the Bermuda Bay was still a little bit wet and you have those little green blotches or Bermuda Bay uh, blotches here and I think that there was a, <clears throat> a part that was on um, uh, there was some black on the stencil and it also got carried over when I was using the Versamark so these are those things that <clears throat> you really need to pay attention for next time but I just really want to show you guys the technique so don't pay attention to those tiny details um, but uh, definitely next time I would take a heat gun and probably dry the Bermuda Bay just a little bit just a little bit more before I worked on it alright so now I am going to start sponging and the two colors that I am using are the, the artichoke, the always artichoke from Stamping Up. I'm using a lot of Stamping Up colors, but my main color is going to be Old Olive. I love that color and that's going to be my main one, <clears throat> main green one. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, it's all nice and, and, uh, and dry, I don't have to worry about anything and we just start sponging. Now you should not worry about going, uh, getting some green on the embossed area because it's so easy to wipe it off. That's why we were embossing in the first place so that we'll be able to go ahead and wipe off anything that we get on that area. So let's just continue on. I'm going to finish it off with the old olive and then I'm going to add a few little touches with the uh, artichoke. But that is very important that when you do that, when you uh, use Versamark, that you're very careful and you don't get uh, Versamark underneath the leaves. For example, right here I did get it. You see that? Because that gets embossed and then your leaves are not completely covered.